Hey guys, it's Jason with your Hopium Free Crypto channel. Today we're doing an update of the 52 altcoins video which I've posted over the last couple of days. I've gone through on quick fire on 52 altcoins. So if you haven't seen them, make sure you go and check those out on the channel. But today I want to update two of them which have done quite well. One in particular being Yearn Finance, which I've posted to the group, the Investor Accelerator group. If you want to join that, there's a link to that in the description down below. But we're basically looking at breakouts of accumulation and I'll show you that on the chart and how you guys can spot that. The main thing you've got to do is just keep tracking the cryptos in your trading software. And if you want one, there's TradingView, link to that is in the description down below. Make sure you like up the video, hit the subscribe button, bell notification icon so you can be updated with the time sensitive content like these trading videos, which I got out yesterday just before Yearn Finance took off. So if you are subscribed, you would see that and hopefully it made some pretty decent profits. This is up about 70% since that point. Let's dive in. First up, I want to say thank you very much for your comments on the videos. You guys are doing fantastically well with the profits that you're making and also understanding the charts. I see a lot of comments from you guys and I respond to as many as possible saying how much the videos are helping you to learn about the charts so that you don't get screwed like a lot of newbies do and just jumping on hype coins. Uh, and then not knowing what to do afterwards. You jump on the hype coin, but at least you've got a bit of a plan on how to get out and what to see, which is exactly what we cover here when we look at GAN, G-A-N-N -N theory, and Wyckoff theory, both legendary traders of the early 1900s. They knew of each other's work. Check them out online if you want to learn more about that as well. But this is something that I've been doing for about 10 years now. And the more I do it in cryptocurrency, the easier it, it gets. So be sure to stick around on the channel and in investing cryptocurrency for years and you will pick it up for sure. It becomes so much easier. Uh, you'll get some quick wins and then life just becomes a little bit easier. So check them out on the channel. These are the videos that I'm going to be covering today. This is a 52 altcoin update and uh, the other video that I put out last night as well. So check, check those in full detail. So first up is the post. So this was just a day and a bit ago, probably a day and a couple of hours now. YFI and YFII are breaking out. This is the chart that I'm looking at here that I've sent to the group and easy support, resistance, waiting for the breakout. I wasn't expecting it to be as hard and as fast, but I was expecting a breakout. And this is YFI. XLM, also a big one, which from those videos I was talking about was my favorite just because of how long the accumulation was. But we've seen a, bit of, a bigger and better break on YFI and on YFII. Now, I'm not talking about the fundamentals in this, just the, the charts and I assume that you want to learn how to make money and then we'll look at the projects during the bear markets in more detail when there's more time. But right now, things are really frothy and money's shooting left, right and center. That's, that's the way it goes in the bull markets. The coin market caps at 2.5 trillion today. Bitcoin, 57,000. It is breaking above our uh, bullish levels or it's getting close to them. It's not breaking above them. If you want to get that in more detail, check out the other video I posted today looking at Bitcoin and Ethereum. Ethereum getting very close to 50% of Bitcoin's market cap. And I think the narrative will then start to really get heavy into Ethereum flipping Bitcoin. And that could send Ethereum even more parabolic than it currently is. So check out that video for more detail on where I'm looking for uh, particular buy levels and how to spot them should they come up as the market continues to increase. Now, our crypto in question is Yearn Finance. So I'm going to click on Yearn and you can see the market cap. We're at $3 billion. We're up about 50% in the last 24 hours. This has just skyrocketed through those resistance levels. We're at new all-time highs on the dollar value. We're getting very close to 100 grand. And this is going to make big news when it hits 100 grand. It'll be the first... I believe the first cryptocurrency, or at least the first major cryptocurrency that uh, that will get some spotlight attention that hits the 100k level. So this is fantastic news for it. Now, other big names talking about Yearn. YFI leads all DeFi seasons. Jot this down. So who is Zoo? Zoo is from Three Arrows Capital. Now, I found Zoo from uh, Up Only podcast. So if you want to know more about that, these are guys who have got fair bit more knowledge than I have of the space and the and the workings of it. So I like to get my information from people who I assume know more than me, especially when it comes to the, the technicals of the company itself. I am more of a 
chart trader. I can see when there's some support and resistance happening, when there's accumulation, potentially when there's distribution, when people are selling and other people are saying buy, buy, buy. I'm pretty sure the big money's selling into them. That's that's more where I stand. But I like to go to these guys to understand what's going on in the market because they're usually on track when they're managing tens, hundreds of millions, maybe even billions. Over to the charts and I'll cover Cardano in today's video as well. It's at all time highs and we should look at that. But for now, let's just look at YFI and what we could potentially see from here and what to look for. This is the level. This is our uh, price ranges, just getting higher highs. We did have some big buy ups in, in November and the dollar value has continued to increase. But the main one that I want to make sure I'm getting my money's worth on is the Bitcoin chart. And so we just saw the breakout We're on a daily and we've seen a breakout just over the last day and a half. So the level was around 1.04. Remember, this is a high value cryptocurrency or the value of one is at 88,000 US dollars. And so when we compare it against Bitcoin, it's now going to be worth more than a Bitcoin. So to buy one of these is now 1.55 of a Bitcoin. This day is only just getting started a couple of hours in, which means we still need to see what happens to the close. But yesterday, if that's any signal, and I think it is huge volume and a very, very high close. We need to probably reset after such a massive move in one hit. The days uh, from the open to the close was 30%. From the low of the day to the high of the day, it was about 40%. Now from the breakout, which I had a level covered at around 1.041, you can see these highs all in this level. So the entry, you could say, is currently up at about 48%, and then the high was at 60%. So I did say earlier around around 70% because there was a small entry here, but honestly, I'd probably be looking more at the level on the breakouts for confirmation that my, the trade is going to go in my direction and I'm trading on momentum rather than hoping. So I don't just want to buy something and hope. I want to see some momentum once I've bought it. And so that's the breakout there around that 50% level so far to the current top. So uh, yeah, YFI still on my list. We can see here that we've hit some resistance at around the 1.6 level to be seen like look at the look at the old tops here so we're hitting resistance if we see a pullback great might be an opportunity to get a little more but i suspect would have to be patient after this level recovers until we can burst through this this top and then move on to our next level which i would look at being these lows that was set back in september so that's going to bring us up to around 2.1 bitcoins value crazy crazy to think that just back in April or March could have bought this for 0.6 of a Bitcoin and now it's worth 0.15 point no it's worth 1.5 wow so nearly tripling our Bitcoin we'll get there I think we're probably going to go and test these levels uh, that we saw back in the DeFi craze season and looking at Zeus Zeus comment here why if I leads all DeFi seasons jot this down so if you know, if I'm taking my advice from a Twitter post, I'll keep this in mind. I'm not betting the house on it, but I'll keep it in mind that if YFI goes first, then we will probably expect to see the DeFi stuff take off as well. So let's put in some alerts to make sure we are aware of when this breaks through. That's what I'll do first at around 1.7. The the US dollar chart, this is just crazy. You know, we're yesterday we were at 60K, now we're at 90K. That's just for one. YFII is another one that's been taking off, but it's not yet broken its highs. So be on the lookout for that. That's at around $4,000. And you could see I had my level sitting at around 2,900 because that's where I saw the previous resistance around 28. So next level to break. It hasn't broken out yet, whereas YFI has. So it might be lagging it. On the Bitcoin chart, it is trying as well but I don't know the utility for YFII. I just think people are buying onto it just like they would with Dogecoin. They're going to Shiba Inu and then to all the other meme stuff. This is not a meme, but I, I could see people wanting to buy the cheaper version of YFI, even if it's doing a, a different project. The other token I want to have a look at today is XLM. This is breaking out. I put a post on this on Twitter. So make sure you're following Twitter. Make sure you're following Instagram daily updates it's getting crazy so make sure you got those the links are to these are in the description down below for stella we're aiming for the old all-time high we're getting close that's over here xlm so the old all-time high is sitting around 92 cents currently at 70 so 
eventually we're going to, I think we're going to get to that point, especially when I look at XLM BTC. This is the big chart here. And then yesterday, uh, and the day before, sorry, we just saw a break, breakout of 1300 Satoshis and the highs are getting lower. Uh, sorry, the highs are getting higher. Lows are getting higher as well. That's what we want to see in a bull market. I'm going to put another alert up here just so we can keep track of where XLM is going. But after such a big wind up, I have to, I want to expect a big move up as well. So that's why XLM takes the cake on uh, the potential big move up. Uh, XLM ETH has been struggling, but not as bad as several other projects. It's still not the best return over the last, you know, years actually. <laughs> Since the top back in November 2018, it's been on the decline. Uh, hopefully we get a turnaround soon, especially with the volume coming into these levels over the last six months. So XLM looking all right. Just keep an eye on the ETH chart as well. You don't want to be out of pocket of ETH just making USD value because ETH is a much safer bet, in my opinion. Now, the last crypto I want to cover is Cardano. We've gone bonkers on Cardano. If you're looking to stake, I've got a staking pool. Make sure you stake to TIA, which is the Investor Accelerator staking pool, the most honest staking pool. Go and check it out down below. I give you my real thoughts of Cardano, especially when I was looking at selling it on this absolute top at 20, the 27th of February. Got a lot of hate for that. But at the end of the day, you're here to make money. That's why you're looking to stake. That's why you're looking to trade. The low came in, reasonable low. I would like to see more volume, but we got some good volume on the breakout. And again, put this video up a few days ago, got it before the breakout on our four times at a top rule, GAN, G-A-N-N rule. Again, Wyckoff theory, nice strong volume breakout. This is getting us set up at new all-time highs again. If we don't happen to break through this point, then I think we're going to remain at all-time highs between the dollar fifty-five and dollar ninety level. So, don't let yourself get scared out of a position now that we're trading at all-time highs with good support above these highs so far. So, ADA definitely looking good. ADA ETH not too bad. It's holding its ground now because it's moving and also Ethereum's moving. So we're not losing on ADA ETH. ADA BTC about to break into new all-time highs. That's a good start. Well, that's a really good sign actually. So we've got some good dollar, uh, dollar gains. We've got good BTC gains and Ethereum is holding up okay. So we're not losing out should we invest in Cardano and not in Ethereum on Ethereum's crazy bull run. Binance, which is a top five cryptocurrency, it's also now beginning to gain against Binance. Not as strong as I would like, just with the lower volume as we begin to ride up, but it's not too bad at the moment. ADA DOT, crushing DOT. It's absolutely crushing DOT now. It's been crushing it since early April, so one month on, and it's nearly doubled DOT's movements. ADA uh, Litecoin, also doing reasonably well. We're up a few points here. Not Nothing too crazy. But again, better to be in ADA than in Litecoin. And the last one, which is an important one on, in my portfolio, is Solana. And ADA has been beating Solana very well. You could almost say crushing it, but I like Solana too much to say that. So we're here at uh, around 0.04 of a Solan, of a Sol. What am I talking about? Which is almost double from where the low was in just a couple of weeks ago. So ADA is looking pretty strong on all fronts besides Litecoin and BNB. But I think it's going to take off against Litecoin as well, especially if Litecoin just doesn't get its move on, its leg on again. Pretty much one of the only cryptos that hasn't really boomed in this bull market. That is the three cryptocurrencies which I really love the look of at the moment. Besides some of the majors, which I talk about often, Cardano is doing extremely well. Uh, I mentioned y YFI and YFII and XLM at the beginning of the video because these were the two that came from the uh, 52 altcoins video. So make sure you check out those after this video. I'll leave links to other videos at the end of this video as well. So check those out. There's stuff to do with uh, $10,000 staking and uh, mistakes to make in the market. So make sure you're subscribed, like the video up, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Blockfolio, Swiftex down below if you want to trade and track your portfolios. See you guys at the next video or on the free newsletter and in the group. Links to that are down below. But until next time, have more fun to get more done.